Emma, how am I supposed to drive you home like this? I was just pretending to be drunk. Emma, you really are something. Come on now, let's get you home. If you want to tell me something, let's talk there. There might be eyes on us. We have to be careful. I know. Let's get back home quickly. I have a plan ready for Ariel. What's on your mind, sweetheart? I am going to give that lying teenager one last chance. If she doesn't stop, I will go in all guns blazing. Do you think Ariel deserves a second chance? Everyone does. I know the world can be nasty, but we have a choice. Ariel's a kid. I can't just give her a hard time. But I am not going to let her mess with me for sure. Your compassion will come back to bite you one day. Shh, let's not talk about it anymore. Let me meet my husband properly. Ah, looks like someone's in the mood tonight. Emma pulled Eric closer in her loving embrace. She did not want to let go of him at that moment. She let out a soft laugh. <laughs> what is it? I always thought you were cold and distant, but you are actually the sweetest. I am lucky. Not more than me. Oh, Eric. Right now, our lives are perfect. I wish time could stop right now. Here, your wish is my command. Eric gently pulled Emma closer by her waist and kissed her passionately. Emma was spellbound. It indeed felt like time stood still, just for her. No matter how calm it seemed at the moment, Emma had no idea. A storm was coming her way. A massive one. This just came for you, Ariel. Who's it from? Emma. Huh. She thinks she's being smart by giving me this stupid perfume. Throw her trashy gift away. I am going to take her down. It's time to count her days. Wow. I never thought Emma would actually be so considerate and take a back foot in this fight. Emma's cunning, but I am the queen of mastermind. We will show the world what we want them to see. Go pick up a rock from the garden and put it in this box. Write a note saying Emma wants to harm me. Don't you think it's too much? You've already got the validation you require. Come on, Emma's gift is a peace offering. Don't you think you should stop? I never stop. I make the world bow down to me. And it's time that loser model Emma disappears from the runway forever. Let us show her some hate. It's time for the audience to take her down forever. No one messes with me. No one! But Ariel... Not a word! If I knew you were such a coward, I would have never taken you on as my manager. If you have a problem with me, please raise it with the company and get yourself a new manager. Saying so, Ariel's manager strode out of the room. He was beginning to fear this 16-year-old model. But Ariel had no idea she was messing with America's top model, Emma, who had crushed global pictures like a tigress, and there was no way she was going to let Ariel mess with her. What a coward. Soon he'll come begging me. He doesn't know who he's messing with. Ariel was fuming with rage and went all out on social media with her made-up stories. The internet was buzzing with scandalous stories of sinister Emma trying to bully a teenage model. A storm was coming, but Emma knew how to tame it. Emma? Emma, it's Charlotte. Hello? Yes, Charlotte, what is it? Are you okay? Emma, have you seen social media? No, what is going on? Please, see the social media right now. Ariel has gone off the hook. That teenager is pure evil. Emma came out of Eric's embrace and opened her social media. What a bully. Emma has lost it. She is bullying Ariel so terribly. How could she be so nasty? She wants to harm Ariel. Seriously. So-called sophisticated model sent a rock with a horrible note to a small girl? How far can Emma go with her jealousy? All social platforms were rife with hate comments for Emma. Hashtags were trending against Emma, and Ariel posted a fake video of herself crying and faking a panic attack. I am so scared. Please! Emma can do anything! She wants to destroy me! She wants to kill me! No! Please save me! I am alone and scared! I hate Emma. She's such a witch. How could she be so ruthless? She is seriously so insecure. We need to make a move now. You still want to give her a second chance now? Humans deserve a second chance, not monsters. Her true mask is revealed. I am not going to be quiet now. She has seen my kindness. Now, it's time she sees my anger. I'll take care of this. I am not letting anyone mess with my wife. Time. It's not time yet. I know when to make my move. 
Please go to sleep, darling. I am going to fix this. I need to make a call. Make it here. I am with you. Eric held Emma's hand and kissed her forehead. He knew his wife was an unstoppable force, and soon she would reclaim her place as America's next top model. Hi, Charlotte. I have seen the gist of it. So what next? We need to do something, Emma. I'm going to get in touch with Star Age and ask for an explanation regarding this. I'm sure they know what their model is up to. No, you will not do that. Otherwise, everyone will know that I'm a part of H-World. We can't reveal I'm a part of your agency so easily. But we can't let her defame a top H-World model like that. You are important to us. Thank you, Charlotte. I know you are worried, but you have to trust me. I know how to deal with this mess. Let me take care of this my own way. Okay, but if this does not get resolved by tomorrow, I will have to step in. And I won't stop you. But right now, you'll have to believe me. I have to go, Charlotte. We don't have much time. The time was ticking, but Emma was a fierce lioness who wasn't going to give up so easily. Emma still had one trick up her sleeve. Ariel did not know that the gift she had sent her as a peace treaty was from Mr. Douglas Blair at EH, so all she had to do was wait for the explosion tomorrow. Lisa, I guess you have seen the news? Was just gonna call you, Emma. Now what next? Do we have a plan? We always do, don't we? Ariel has messed with the wrong person. It's time she knows. I want you to put out a statement saying I did send a gift to Ariel. Okay, and? That's it. That's it? Come on, Emma. Social media is gonna target you even more after that. I know. That's what I want. Let the fire go wild. We tame it when they go out of control. Trust me, just do it. Lisa did as Emma said, and she was right. The internet was wild. The haters were spewing hatred like never before. Everyone thought this was the end of Emma. But Phoenix never dies. It only knows how to rise. And Emma was an unstoppable Phoenix who was here to make a splash. Emma's fans are confused. They're wondering why Emma agreed to give Ariel the gift. Is Ariel really the victim? How can Emma turn into a monster? Seriously, she's trying to force a small kid out of the industry. Sir, why would she do something like this? These reporters are getting out of hand. Luke, what's the update on Ariel's investigation? They are on your desk, sir. But I thought you trusted Miss Miller. Then why this? I trust her completely, but Emma has one weakness. She is too compassionate for this world. She might be safe now, but I want to make sure this never happens again. I know. Luke did not say anything further. He understood what Eric meant. While Emma just wanted to clear her name and defeat Ariel, Eric wanted to get rid of Ariel and make sure she never recovered. Mr. Blair, what do you think of this whole debacle regarding Emma and Ariel, or Mini Emma, as she is called? Well, I would have to say that Mini Emma is a lot more devious than the real Emma. Everyone in the studio was shocked at his remarks. They were of the opinion that he would put down Emma, but he spoke against Ariel. Can you tell us why you said that? Well, firstly, the misunderstanding between my company, E.H., and Miss Miller has already been resolved. She came here to apologize and made us understand that she could not attend the event for a very personal matter. So I do not know why Ariel's creating such a fuss. Now that you put it that way, it does raise some suspicion regarding her actions. It was Emma's personal matter, after all. Secondly, Miss Lewis immediately went home and started to complain after the event. Did she assume that Miss Miller was absent because of her? All we saw was a 16-year-old girl bawling her eyes out and we felt bad for her. What about the person being targeted? If you ask me, the real target here is Emma and not Minnie Emma. Douglas Blair's statements set social media abuzz once again. The debate over who played the aggressor and who was the victim intensified, sparking heated discussions. However, unbeknownst to everyone, Douglas Blair had his own agenda. He aimed to elevate E.H. to greater prominence among the audience, intentionally fueling the flames of controversy to achieve this goal. That old fool! How dare he try to take her side? I want to release another statement. Please don't be hasty. I think you need to... Excuse me! Who the hell are you? I will kick you out right now. Do as I say or you will regret it. What will Ariel do next? Will she tell more lies to bring Emma down? Does Emma have another card up her own sleeve? 
Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.